Deborah Kelly is an operating room nurse. One day, she had to work an intense double shift. So I had gotten overly fatigued, and um, anyway, the next day I had a migraine. I've had migraines before, it wasn't that big of a deal. Fortunately, Deborah made an appointment with her doctor. He suggested an MRI. He said it was a change in the headache pattern, and he scheduled the MRI, and um, I was very surprised to find that there was a tumor there. Her doctors referred Deborah to the University of Washington Medical Center's Neuro-Oncology Center. So this is Ms. Kelly. She's the a Department of Neurological Surgery right at the University of Washington is one of the largest uh, academic neurosurgery programs in the nation. We have a group of people who have a very limited subspecialty practice who don't do other types of things. And so we have multidisciplinary teams like the Tumor Board for Brain Tumors where we have members, that's all they do. That's all I operate on. You ready to go to work? Yes, sir. The removal of a brain tumor requires identifying the areas of the brain essential to speech and motor skills. To do this, neurosurgeons at the University of Washington Medical Center use a technique called functional brain mapping. The patient is awake during the procedure so she can communicate with the surgical team. After surgery, working with the specialists at the University of Washington Medical Center, Deborah decided to go ahead with radiation treatments too. I prepared myself ahead of time that all I was going to do was find out what it was. The pathology was already determined a long time ago. And um, I feel encouraged out of all the tumors I could have. Um, I, we can work with this, you know, we'll go on.